You think say it's Sabi Niger music? Old school or new school? Come show yourself for Gusto gets the song. You go win better, better. Call the number where they appear for your screen. So, Niger music, come win money. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions once again. Thank you so much. It's a very, very beautiful day. Of course, I've got Lala in the building. Before we continue, please continue, you know, to like our videos, like this video, subscribe, tell your friends about what we do. If you're a new subscriber watching for the very first time, please do what you have to do. Subscribe to our channel. Of course, we will not disappoint you. Also, check out our videos as well eh, yeah. that we have. They are mm -hmm. really, really dope. Mm -hmm. Big Lala certified. ISO 1004 certified. I don't know what I'm saying, but of course, talking about <laughs> talking about um, the main topic for today. Of course, bad boy teams, um, amazing. Who wake up artists. today? Nobody wake up today. Nobody wake up. <laughs> but it's started with the bandana. Anyways, yeah. amazing artist. This guy um, had one of the biggest collaborations of 2020. That one loading with. You know, Olamide. A lot of people feel that this guy carried the song. Mm. Your thoughts? Well, I have my reservations. I mean, I've already made it known for that particular album that the features helped greatly. Mm. Uh, I would want to say he carried the song, but Olamide says he gave him a lot of airtime, wanted mm -hmm. to push him out there. Even in the video, we saw that it was only him that was there, yeah. and, and it looked like it was intentional. So, mm -hmm. if people feel like that, it's because Olamide wanted people wanted to feel to like feel that. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, bad boy teams have been quiet, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for a while right now. This guy won the heaviest rookie of the year, and a lot of people felt, oh, maybe yeah, maybe he deserves, mm -hmm. you know, that one. This guy on the rise, but that upward trajectory right now, Lala, seems to be at a halt. Mm -hmm. Finish school, computer engineering. You know, I mean, this guy, artist, learned person, a graduate, and all of that. Yeah. Blossoming career mm -hmm. right now seems to be in the dark. What exactly is happening to Bad Boy Teams? Well, we know what happened, um, I think, a month or two ago. Yeah. When um, there were rumors that he was arrested, apparently for, they said, defrauding mm -hmm. his record, record label, label and show sure, organizer. Yeah. He later came out and said, oh, it's a lie. There was no nothing like <laughs> yeah. we saw the video. And sure, then yeah. he, I don't know whether they paid to the head or not or the guy is close to the head or not. But so he also carried that nobody was arrested. Nobody was arrested and things like that. So we saw that happen. But since this incident, there's been nothing. There's been yeah. zilch from bad boy team. There's been letters. There's been letters. <laughs> and, and lots of letters. Mm -hmm. hmm. Um, uh, you make claims of more than 60 million uh, as this, is, for this, is, this is bad boy teams this lawyer yeah. you know making claims of uh you know uh 160 million naira as for the expensive returns. that means that's what the label says they spent on bad Bro, boy teams Interesting. do you think they have spent up to 160 million naira no i don't think so what they, i think what they've done here is uh even if they have you would have made the money right so have you taken that off whatever you're but claiming? now bad boy teams is saying it, 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 they, they did an evaluation of the amount that which they claim this 160 and is due to your company and discovered that they were only entitled to 14 million naira. Okay. Now, even 14 million naira is a lot of money. Yeah, it's possible to have spent 14 million naira, but, but mm -hmm. very, very possible in this market. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Labels, artists, troubles here and there and everything. Would you have imagined this one happening to bad boy teams anytime soon? Would you what? Would you have imagined this happening to bad boy teams? This, uh, this I, would, I wouldn't have imagined it happening to anybody. Um, but as well, know the Nigerian factor is always there. There's all this label drama and uh, artist drama. It's been it's been it's been ever present in our industry. Visa repeat. Visa repeat. Kiss Daniel. Yeah. You know how far that went. Exactly. Even skills and um, skills, baseline. Skills and baseline. Sion uh, and baseline. Sa Aramide and baseline. Well, I mean, it's been <laughs> even go back as Kenny's music. Yeah. And Two Face, Kelly's music, and uh, Kelly and song, and it's been far back. Whiskey and almost got almost that right. Whiskey and Temple, yeah. and all yeah. this. He's always there for a long, for he's been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. But it's it's unlucky that it happened to bad boy teams, and mm -hmm. it's right now it's 
I won't say he's put a stop, but it's, there's a temporary block on his, on like you said, on his yeah. upward trajectory. Yeah, because his page is right now. The last thing on his page was that letter, and this is almost two months right now. Nothing is from you know coming from bad boy teams. No word, no statement, nothing. Anonymous music also. He said he has a new label called Shock Absorbers. Uh, music mm-hmm. uh, w- w- is there an end to this whole? Thing? I think this uh-huh. this matter is actually in court, and that's why we've not been able to go forward. I mean, Bad Boys has not been able to go forward to mm-hmm. release anything. We don't know the full details. We don't know the full details, but we know that Shock Absorber, whatever record, right? And the songs he wants to release mm-hmm. or plan to release may have been recorded under anonymous music, music yeah. and in most cases when you do that that means you can't release it without the approval the only masters yeah. yes the only master you can't release it under because you use the equipment they funded the whole thing and things like that Same. they are part owners so um, that's one of the reasons why it's always hard so do you now go and create something new mm. even if you create something new, are you allowed to release music or have they put a temporary block or have they dragged you to court and said oh you cannot settled, yeah. you are still a signee of anonymous music and you cannot release music Without the approval of another music. So that's where they stand right now. Maybe he's been advised to not release anything new at the moment, but it's a shame because mm-hmm. it's put it's not looking good for a mm-hmm. rookie of the year winner. Because you look at just it. Some months ago. Yeah, just a month ago. You see how it's supposed to be for Redis, right? You win rookie of the year. That means the next year you're supposed to be in contention for the next rated. For the next rated. Is it looking like bad boy teams will be nah. in contention next year? Nah. No, and that's that's sad to see. I mean, for someone who has a song with Lamy Day, for someone who has uh, a song with Mayor Kong as well, yeah, and also the MJ song itself, the original doing really really well, all yeah. did very very well. Mm-hmm. What exactly is it with artists having some fame and then labor issues setting? What, what, what? In your own opinion, let's even leave public opinion and everything. You as Big Lala, what do you think? is the major problem is it the artist is it the label what exactly is it i think it's it's we can say both usually right uh i want to use Lakon as an example mm. before big brother everyone knows who he had a label i mean we got to find out he had a label yes, and things like that but because after that is after he won big brother the label didn't continue like it was status quo for them mm. obviously his stock has risen you can't still use the same terms as when he was unknown to when he's now known he's now marketable has more pool more rich more fan base obviously you'll make more money for the label so you have to renegotiate the terms of the contract usually the labels are so rigid they don't want to do that even if you're making so much money they feel oh it's a contract you signed you have to honor the contract mm-hmm. artists would on the other hand they feel fine you signed i signed this thing when i was actually unknown and a lot of work has gone not only due to the label but also due to my content we've now become bigger we are now making more money it should also reflect for the artist because he also has the pulling power now he has the influence that means you can renegotiate most labels don't want to renegotiate that's where the wallah start coming in and artists sometimes i would want to say they are greedy but then it's common sense if you now have more leverage you push for something better for yourself mm. there's nothing bad in it and i think that's the way to go for most labels they need to start renegotiating renegotiating contracts yeah. to that to make sure that the artist is well compensated mm. as the label is being compensated the artist also is well compensated so if you are making more money it should also reflect on your artist exactly. so i think labels and artists they need to have that understanding, understanding. perhaps they should have it in their contract initially that should when social sh- should in case this and this and mm. where our earning threshold has passed this and uh, my fan base has done this and done mm. this i will be eligible to be able to renegotiate my contract uh, i think i have a whole lot to talk about that mm. uh probably fix another day you know talk about it because in my head i'm just thinking what if the artist does not blow at all who gets to lose is there a contract that the that label, has to, get to pay all the money nah the label the thing. and you know there is a risk there's always different type of contract these days you know some la- label contracts are Oh, we're going to invest so so and so and so and so, so, and so mm. right? Every time we spend so, so and so, you have to pay back with earnings, right? Mm. That means you have to have you have to make enough money. It's like they are giving you an advance to push mm. your music, mm. but you have to pay it back. That means you have to do content. You have to 
But if, they, if, they, if, if, if they don't get to pay it back and everything, nothing go happen. Nothing go happen to, lab, uh, to the, artist the artist now. Exactly. So, so the label gets to lose it. Yeah, the label lose a lot. Exactly. It's normal, it's standard so for them. So you think if a label... Anyways, I mean, this 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 talk is not even a talk of uh, mm-hmm. this thing. It's a, it's a proper, proper discussion. But I'm just thinking in my head that if artists are saying leverage and everything, labels also can also say, what if you did not blow? Mm-hmm. What if you did not blow? And I decided to say, okay, guys, it's been five years, I've not blown, and you spent a lot of money, I'm leaving. It, it, it can't be going to hold him. It can't be that leave. it can't be like that that he's leaving. Contract have terms, right? Mm. After you have not it's up and to it the leaves. No, it's up to the label to say, Oh, okay, we're going to offer you a new contract. What if the artist wants to leave? No, he has to finish his contract now. Hey, what if after the contract? He leaves. He say he wants and to. Nothing is holding him down. The label loses everything. Uh, the label is aware of this. They know. And the artist goes to. Oh, I have I have a very very clear example, but you know, Skibi is an example yeah. of it. Uh-huh. Label spent a lot of money, no blow, left, and then started blowing. Oh, yeah. my label, like, ah, all our money now was a collab from this guy. Yeah, that's how it be. That's how it is. Guys, let's have your thoughts on the hard voice hard life issue. It's hard life. Yes. Label versus artist every now and then. Bad boy tips currently stuck right now at you know at that very low level. Of course, we are all just wishing him all the best. We're wishing Anonymous Music all the best as well. We hope that this case gets resolved yeah, as soon true. as possible. But let's have your thoughts on that. What do you think about the bad boy teams and the most music situation? Put everything up below. I will see you on the next one, guys. Peace. <laughs>